Nomad tweeted out the uh, birth years, which I don't know if that's legal to do or not. Um, <laughs> of the uh, of the finalists. Why would that be illegal? I was joking. All right, so <laughs> first year. HIPAA violation. First You're year. Doxing him. Uh, U20 finalists: Jax Forrest, Marcus Blaze, Ben Devino, Bo Bassett, PJ Duke, Ladarian Lockett, Zach Ryder, Aiden Sinclair. Mm. That's pretty wild. Like four of them. Yeah, that's a lot. There was a lot of talk around the age of of these guys and these teams and. Is this the youngest team ever? I think Nomad said it was, but is this going to be a new norm? And I think the answer is no. I think it just comes in cycles. You get one or two years with really good guys, but then they kind of run it. Like there's a good chance a couple of those guys repeat, I think, on, on the team next year and or the year after too. And so then obviously the team gets skewed older. Um, I, I don't think – these guys who can come back next year, make the team all of a sudden there's going to be a new crop coming in that beats them. And that's going to be the thing every year. It's definitely not an advantage to be 18 years old in the U 20 field. Yeah. I mean, think about Gabe Arnold just spent a year in the Iowa room and lost to Ryder. Who's been, you know, is finishing his senior year. Um, and it's, it's going to, it's going to be, there's no, I, yeah, JD's JD's exactly right. It's, it's all about the talent that's there. And when they hit, their U20 eligibility more so than that what the age actually represents. Everything's becoming more homogenous, and that includes U20s. It's interesting how you see things come in waves like that, though. Mm -hmm. I wonder why that happens. I don't know. Somebody that's commenting from the Flow Wrestling account uh, on YouTube commented, PJ Duke beat Lockett a couple years ago at Journeyman. Hmm. So I don't know who that was. Who Maybe that be? Bray? Probably Bray or Spay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who is this mystical <laughs> voice from beyond? Okay. Uh, we talked about, we were looking at the lineups, U20 team, U23 team. Do you think that the U20 team could beat the U23 team? Definitely could. Definitely could. They uh, probably would. They'd probably be favored. I do think you t people were, I thought I saw a tweet. I don't know if it got p pasted in, but someone was like, oh, yeah, that guy said, I don't think U23 wins a match. I think that's crazy. Um, they would definitely win a match, matches, but it would be it would be a tough, some tough matches. There's some definite um, underdogs there for U23, but it'd be closer than you think. But U23 is just not a uh, it's not a focus point or emphasis for a lot of the U23 guys. Also, you know if Mitchell Messenbrink's on this team, and you know Marcus Blaze could be our 57 if he wanted it. Um, that, that starts to make that duel a lot more interesting as well. Yeah. Um, it, it's interesting. I, I get it. They're, they're just focused on college season. This is the off season. Some guys need that rest. But you still think, I don't know, you'd see a little bit more participation for U23s. Well, I think the other part of it, when are U23s? They're in like October, right? They're always like Halloween so, weekend. Yeah. So um, you're in the middle of kind of like, you're, you're right. Yeah. You're going to miss Halloween. It's kind of spooky. Yeah. It's like, what's the point of all these costumes if you can't be at Halloween at college, right? Uh, no, but it's right before the season gets started. It's not, it's just not convenient timing, timing wise, I think for a lot of the wrestlers. That's my guess uh, on why it's. You don't have to I, accept the spot. Yeah, I know. I feel like a lot of guys, it's want the time off in the yes. summertime too. Like it's not easy to finish a college season. A lot of the time, you your weight might go up or whatever. It's not always easy to just pick up. Okay, let me go to this tournament a month and a half later. Yeah, for someone like Panero, he had no he months. had no season. He had nothing to like aim for except for really this tournament. So this was his focal point. But there aren't many guys that made the team that had this as their focal point for, for the year, right? A lot of the guys, for U23, a lot of the guys that enroll or, or don't go, I feel like freestyle is not the focus for most of these guys. Yeah. Whereas in U20, all these kids freestyle, are wrestling freestyle all the time. Yeah. Well, it's not that it's you train to make the world team at the U20 yeah. level. This is, this is what you're trying to do. Once you hit U23, you are training and thinking about winning a Division and, One yeah, national, title. national title. Whereas if you don't have aspirations guys, right. to continue to wrestle after your college career, it's like, why am I even training freestyle? 
and we see the international guys too. U twenty threes is not as important for international guys either because a lot of times, if you're once you're past twenty, it's like senior senior level, level mm-hmm. right? Or it's the guys who are still can't make the senior level team that show up to U twenty threes. 